Welcome everyone back to another Clash of Clans video on the channel, that's right guys, and today is a very, very exciting one. Guys, we are so close to leveling up, and we are finally almost done with our Town Hall upgrade. Guys, less than three days until we are completely done, and I'll show you guys. I've gotten quite a lot done in those few days since my last video. I know guys, I've been uploading a lot of videos with my new base, with my new fresh account. As well, if you guys live in the eastern side of the United States, I hope you all are staying safe. There's a hurricane of course hitting us. Please guys, stay safe. But let me show you guys. So here's what I have worked on right now. The Grand Warden is getting worked on at the moment, six days, nine hours left until that is done. The Town Hall, less than three days, guys. My Cannon and my Archer Tower, right over here. Less than 24 hours, guys, until the Archer Tower is level 11, and less than a day and a half until my Cannon is level 12. That's right, guys, we are plowing through these upgrades, and I'll show you guys. So the Cannons right now are all level 15, and the Archer Towers are all also level 15, so we are very, very close to completing both the Cannon and the Archer Tower. Now, with this Town Hall upgrade, I don't believe we get any new Cannons or any new Archer Towers, but we do get a new Hidden Tesla and a new Inferno Tower. So, let me see where my Inferno Towers are, guys. My Inferno Tower is right here. They are level 5 at the moment. We still have another two levels, I believe, until they are completely maxed out. So, right now, there's really not much I can completely finish upgrading. I do have the walls, I have the Barbarian King, and then, of course, the Grand Warden is going to have to get worked on. But, guys, there's really no major upgrades I can do in today's video, so I figured, why don't we go ahead and do a couple of attacks? I'll hop right into a match, and I'll see you guys when I'm there. Alrighty guys, would you look at this loot right here, practically a million total gold elixir and dark elixir, actually it's a little over, barely over, maybe a million and one guys, a million one, so let's hop right into it, I think I can also three star this base if I play it right. So what I do really want to do is I'm going to definitely want to take out those air defenses. So I'm thinking I'm going to put a P.E.K.K.A on each side, kind of in the corners. That's going to do a little bit of outer damage here. I'm also going to follow it up with probably two party wizards on each end. Guys, that is really just to take out some of the background stuff behind those P.E.K.K.A.s. I'm going to rage up some of the P.E.K.K.A.s. There we go, guys. There we go. He's going to fly through this area, hopefully and then head right into that base. Now, we definitely want to take out these air defenses. They're pretty... They're going to do a good amount of damage no matter what. It doesn't matter how high level my... Um, what's it called? My Electro Dragons are. We're still going to, of course, want to do it anyway, just so that we don't have to lose those Electro Dragons. I'm going to follow this side up with every other troop, actually. This is going to be the side that I think I'm really going to want to go for here. All right, guys, I'm just going to put down the Electro Dragons, follow it up, there we go, guys. There we go. We could probably still three-star this base. It's going to be a little bit difficult because I did play it very, very wrong. But it's okay, guys. It's okay. There's not many defenses left, which is nice. We got all the loot which we came for, of course. And the three-star is looking pretty good in our favor right now. That Barbarian King being raged up is going to power through all of those defenses there, including the Town Hall. The Electro Dragon's doing a lot of damage. They're still, well, we still have one alive left, guys. Oh, the P.E.K.K.A. just died. Looks like that was the last P.E.K.K.A. we had left as well. Barbarian King, all he's got to do is take out that air defense, that mortar, and the wizard tower. The cannon over here, my archer queen will easily take out. That is no worries. It looks like the archer queen is really going to be doing most of the work on this base, actually. At least in the end here, because that barbarian king, he's slow, he's bulky, and he doesn't do ranged damage. So, there we go. Archer queen, you're going to have to take it for the team here. There we go, guys. There we go. She's invisible for the time being. There we go. Cannon is completely distracted. Barbarian King is going to finish off this lab right here. And well, guys, that's going to be it for this match. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy, guys. Over a million loot. Let's do it. And let's hop right into the next match as well. And I'll see you guys when I'm there. Oh my god, guys. This might be the most loot I think I have ever seen in my lifetime. Wow, 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 guys. We're just going to go right for this. This is a crazy amount of loot here, guys. That is crazy. This is insane right here. 
What? I have never seen this. Alright guys, we're just we're just gonna take everything we can from this base. That's right guys, just gonna take it all. Let's go for it boys. Yes, oh my gosh. This is crazy guys, that's a crazy amount of loot here. I have not seen that much loot. Ever, I think. That's easily almost 3 million total loot. That's, that's crazy guys. Wow, we got the 50%, we got almost 1.5 or 2.5 million total elixir and gold combined. Guys, that was an insane quick match. We did get the one star still and we got an insane amount of loot, oh my god. Wow guys, so I'm gonna call the video right there, but that was crazy, I am so, so happy I was able to get that. Guys, that was crazy. I know I keep saying crazy, but it really does help when you get big bases like that. That is the most loot I've ever seen. I was actually thinking about trying to just keep looking for a base and see if I can't title one video the most loot I've ever seen. I wasn't even planning on it for this video guys, and I got it anyway. That is by far the most loot I've ever seen in Clash of Clans. But guys, I am going to call the video right there. Thank you all so much for tuning in to another one. I have so many future upgrades on this base and I cannot wait. And I'm going to show you guys of course the progression on my brand new starter account. So as always, I love you all so much. Have a good one. Later. Peace.